Hi, I'm Johnson with OLED USA. And in the next few minutes, I wanna dive into the instructions for the brand new Baton 4. This new product carries over many important attributes of the previous Baton 3, but has an entirely new host of benefits and features that I know you're going to enjoy. Let's get started by first removing the insulating film from the battery compartment so we can charge it. We recommend always using our high quality batteries in our products. Next, make sure to fully charge the product before the first use. The charging time is about one hour. The included magnetic charger is extremely easy and convenient to use. The red indicator means the battery is charging. And once it turns green, it means the charging is completed and you can now enjoy using the product. Now to lock the side switch, ensure first that the light is off. Then press and hold the switch for about two seconds until the moonlight mode turns on and back off. When the button is locked, you can still check the remaining battery level with a single press without turning on the flashlight. To exit lockout mode, press and hold the button for one second to unlock the light and activate moonlight mode. Speaking of moonlight mode, let's take a look at each brightness level. To activate moonlight mode, Simply press and hold the button for one second or more when the flashlight is off. With moonlight mode, you have access to 0.5 lumens with a runtime of up to 30 days. With the flashlight on, you can now quickly adjust the brightness level by pressing and holding the button to cycle through low, medium, and high. To enter turbo, Quickly double press the button. Press again to power off. For strobe, quickly triple press the button. Press again to power off. The Baton 4 has a built-in auto shutoff feature using two preset periods. A long period of nine minutes and a short period of only three minutes. To activate the auto shutoff feature, double press and hold the button while the flashlight is on. The light will flash once to indicate the short period has been set. Double press and hold the button again, and the light will flash twice to indicate the long period has been set. Lastly, let's take a closer look at the new brightness and battery level indicators. On the left-hand side of the button, we have the low or moonlight, then the medium, then high. Now on the right side of the button, we have the bottom indicator which gives you a red visual indicator when the light has reached below 5% battery remaining. The indicator in the middle is green and represents between 5% and 60%. And finally, the top indicator represents 60% or more. Now, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I'm Johnson with Olight USA, and I'll see you next time.